When creating Power BI reports that have time as one of the columns in your data source, uh, Power BI is likely going to convert that to a time zone that's not correct for you. Uh, so if that's happened to you, uh, it's a pretty quick fix. Uh, just go into your Power BI report. Um, I'll just show you my test one here real quick. It's just uh, tweets over time. So what we're seeing here is just two identical sides. We're going to leave one side as the time that tweet was created with the incorrect time zone. So my created date was converted. Uh, and we're going to create a calculated date time uh, to put over here for comparison. So go to your data tab here and do new column. And then we can just uh, copy and paste from the blog post linked in the comments here uh, this example. And when you paste that in, you'll want to be careful uh, not to just leave it as is. You'll see these uh, quotation marks need to be straight quotation marks, or you'll get a syntax error. So make sure those are straight. Uh, and then just a few housekeeping things here. Uh, my data source is tweets. You can check the name of your data source over here. So put that here. And then put the name of the column that you're converting here. So I'm using my created column, but yours could be modified or some other date column. Uh, and then put in this first number here after time, um, the number of hours that you need to subtract from that time to make it correct for your time zone. So when you've got all those changes made, hit Enter. And then we can check that by scrolling our data source over to the right. And then here's our new column. And one last thing we can do is select that column and come up here to data type, change it to date or date time. And then we'll click yes. And then the format's important because this is what's going to show up on a tool tip or something. So let's just say we want just time. We could do this 1.30 PM example. And then when we come in here, uh, so we're still looking at when it was incorrect, when it was imported, uh, so the created date's too wrong. Let's go ahead and replace that with our new local time column. And there we go. So it's showing the correct time now, 3.56 instead of 10.56. And we can also fix that in our chart really easily. Uh, just make sure for those who do local time and not date hierarchy, we'll take out created. So there we go. Uh, it's pretty quick. If you have any problems, uh, feel free to comment.